I was watching this press secretary, this joke of a press secretary, Pasaki, and she disrespected one of our military branches, Space Force. And I thought it was a joke too. You know the joke on Netflix, Space Force. Turns out, Space Force has nothing to do with space travel. It has everything to do with cyber attacks and the internet. Now flash forward to a couple of days ago where Mike Lindell, my pillow guy, came out with a video of all the evidence of the Dominion machines and the Smartmatics. Eh, watch the video and keep that in mind what Space Force is designed to do. And you're going to be like, huh? That kind of crack crack. Now I want to go into Joe Biden. Sleepy Joe, just say no. He hasn't even received the nuclear codes. What up with that, dog? And he doesn't even receive any briefings of the Pentagon since he's been sworn in. Say what? You heard it here. Maybe third or fourth, but you heard it here first if you had never heard it before. Last thing I want to talk about, because i got to make this short and sweet as I connect the dots of the universe for you. I've been here to there, everywhere. I've basically Space Force myself, traversed the internet. Time Magazine has released an article, look it up, how they had to save the election. How big corporations and activist groups such as BLM and Antifa combined to save this election. Wow, that happened. I told you they're going to bleed themselves out. Now we're just watching them bleed slowly. Other than that, I don't have any information. But I bet you that halftime Super Bowl uh, was, uh, let's say, satanic as hell. I bet. I didn't watch it. I ain't watching that shit. Boycott that. Boy. All right. Until next time. Live long and prosper.